little update and review today. Um, these are my Doc Martens for life in Oxblood. Um, if you follow my channel, you've seen these boots before and you'll have seen quite a lot of coverage for uh, the 4Life range. In fact, it was one of the reasons why I started the channel. I wanted to share my experience with those boots. Um, great guarantee, uh, replacement for life, or re replacement or repair. Um, experience has shown it's always replacement. Um, and yeah, it's, it's what I've covered on my channel quite extensively. I've said this before, but I really mean it this time. This is the absolute last review of these boots. Um, two very good reasons, I think. Um, firstly, I've covered all three colorways. Um, the colorways available for purchase reduced to two in the end, but black, oxblood, and the um, discontinued brown, I've covered them all. Um, there's not much more to show. Uh, if you're really interested in these boots, check back on my channel, you'll be able to see all about them. Um, the second reason, and really quite significant, is uh, that Doc Martens are ceasing the deal. Um, one of my subscribers was kind enough to flag up uh, that there's this change on their website. I think it's only popped up in the last month or so. Um, and what they say on the website is, after careful consideration, we've decided to discontinue the Full Life collection. The last day to purchase a Full Life product with a lifetime guarantee is March 26th. So that's already gone. Please register the product immediately because your last chance to register or activate your full life product is 25th of May. Now, I'm pretty sure I'm registered, but I will be double checking because it'd be a bit annoying um, if I couldn't. Uh, the good news, in August 2018, we're launching a collection called Hard Life. Now, Hard Life is the leather they use, which is a very supple, oily leather um, not really the leather that a lot of people would expect from Doc Martens, the sort of super shiny, really tough, uh, hard breaking leather. So it's a good leather, I really like it. Um, so they're releasing that with a brand called Hard Life, um, with products very similar in performance to the 4Life range. However, the products do not come with a lifetime guarantee. I'll be really interested to see the price point, because I think these have gone up to about £175. Um, in itself, I don't think these are worth £175 if it wasn't for the warranty. So I'll be really interested to see the price of the Hard Life products. I'm hoping they're around about £100, maybe £110 because it might be something they need to differentiate from their normal uh, six-hole offering, but we'll see. Um, the last thing they say is, if you're a current for life owner, don't worry, we'll still honor our existing for life guarantees for products purchased before 26th March and registered by May 25th. So that's what they've said on their website. And to be honest, I think that's fair. You know, they're, they're not changing the deal for existing customers. They're ceasing it and uh, stopping other people entering the deal. Um, I'm surprised they've decision, decided to do this because I think it's a really good deal and it's something which puts them on the map. And to be honest, the price of the boots £175, £20 handling fee every time you change them over. I can't quite understand why that's not sustainable for them. Um, I get through a pair of boots in about 12 months, um, but many people wouldn't. I walk in these every day to work and often at work and uh, the failure point is the soles. And that's pretty much why these have come to the end of the life at 12 months. So I would have said that given that a lot of people will only have a new pair of boots, maybe twice, maybe, uh, off this deal, or not at all in some cases, you know, I would have thought there was enough product, uh, profit in the uh, face value or the RRP on these to, uh, to um, allow it to be sustainable. They don't use middlemen, so there's no one getting this at retail and then selling it on. So that whole 175 pounds or whatever it might be, all goes to Dark Martins. I'm surprised it's not sustainable. I am. Okay, so from August 2018, these will be relaunched as Hard Life. I'll be really interested to see if uh, the Hard Life obviously loses the Four Life tab down there. I'm sure it will. Um, although I'd imagine uh, as they go through replacements for existing customers, um, we'll see many, many months, if not years, of the uh, Four Life products stockpiled and uh, redistributed to the existing customers. 
So that's what's happening with Doc Martins. In terms of these boots, um, just have a quick look over. Um, as I say, always uh, the soles which fail, the leather uppers are always very, very comfy, never had any failures. Sometimes you lose the shape of the toe cap if you've um, been working in them, for example, and they do soften up, but they've kept their shape all right. Um, the soles are where the failure point is. Um, very shallow tread and uh, smooths out. So if you're on sort of wet ground, certainly grass, you're, you're losing traction. And the heels, for me, um, I've got one of those walks where if the heels are a fairly soft compound, it sort of exaggerates it and comes off to the side. So these are ceasing to be uh, reasonably comfy for me. Um, the footbed uh, is sort of breaking down a bit. You can start feeling, it doesn't seem to offer so much support on the footbed after sort of a year. Um, the bounce in the sole goes after about t six months, if that. Um, but they are super, super comfy from the day one and um, very supportive. So, as I say, they are great boots. Um, I am very pleased with this deal. Um, I'm kind of sorry that other people won't be able to experience the deal if, if you haven't already. Uh, we'll come in for a few close-ups, just have a proper look at the boots, and you can see how they're, they're wearing. Um, one thing I'll say now is when I exchange these, I'll be going back to black. I think that'll be cool, because that's what I started off with. Um, I did like the Oxblood, it started out sort of because it sort of from the factory it had been storage, it had been sort of dried out a little bit, so it's slightly pinky. Um, but as soon as I um, gave it some conditioning with the uh, Wonder Balls, um, it took on a really nice sort of reddy brown, sort of conquery burgundy colour, very, very nice. As time has gone on, they've become scratched, battered, and uh, picked up this sort of slightly mottled patina, um, which I don't think. I like as much. Um, if you're going to have sort of reddy boots, I kind of want them to be consistently red. Brown boots, yeah, patina looks great. Black boots, you wouldn't notice it, but I think um, I'll prefer these. I'll get more wear at them in their original black colour. Um, one thing I experienced with some boots previously, uh, a little bit of water seepage from the edge here because of the stitching. Um, that's no longer a problem. Um, when it was a problem, I just gave it an extra coating of the conditioner and went over it with the hairdryer and it was soaked in and it was all fine. But these are fine. Um, yeah, so let's come in for some close ups. Coming in for some close ups. We'll wrap it up. Just taking a look at the Hard Life leather. As I say, it's picked up a bit of patina over the time. Um, I prefer a bit more of a consistent colour on a, a sort of oxblood boot. Um, some people would probably really like it. Um, they have looked great up until probably a couple of months ago. It might have been the wet weather which tipped them over the edge, but yeah, not looking too bad. Um, the leather has got plenty of life in it. Still good construction on the heel cap and toe. Very, very comfy. Um, the limiting, limiting factor, as always, is a sole. Very, very smooth up the front here. And uh, the heel is wearing heavily to one side partly because I walk like that, partly because it's a soft compound. Um, the laces, uh, they do fail after about six months. Luckily, you normally get a second pair, um, but the laces on these are pretty poor. I've never had that problem with any other boot. Uh, it's not because the eyelets are rough, just slightly low quality laces, really. Um, inside, if you can catch anything in there, um, all looking pretty tidy. Uh, the footbed doesn't offer the support it previously did, um, but pretty okay. Stitching, still nice and yellow, waterproof, all looking good. Well, that brings us to the end of the video. As I say, the full life deal is ending. They will honor it for uh, new customers, or sorry, existing customers rather. Um, one thing I will say, I didn't say earlier, uh, I have thought that it was pretty decent that they never revisited the handling cost. It always stayed a consistent 20. Um, the sale price of the boots went up. I'm pretty sure I paid 135 when I bought these originally. I think it's gone up to 175. It might even be 195 uh, last look, but that's disappeared from the website. So the cost of entry has gone up over the time. The um, price to the um, existing customer 
has remained consistent. I think that's pretty decent. Um, I'm sorry to see the deal go. I think it was a good deal. I think it put Doc Martens on the map even more so than the sort of iconic brand status does anyhow. But it is a shame it's ending. That's their decision. Um, as I say, lots of coverage on these on my uh, YouTube. Please check out if you want to see anything else about these. Lots and lots of coverage. Other quality footwear, really love boots, red, uh, red wings, thorough goods, um, that sort of stuff. Check it out. Uh, quality denim, um, lots of other stuff on my YouTube. If you haven't seen it before, please check it out. You might share some other common interests. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, I'd love it if you subscribed. And uh, that's about it. Okay. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.